Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be checking out the best new .io browser games that you can play in 2020. Now, if you guys have seen my channel before, you know I absolutely love Crunker.io, and it's one of my favourite first-person shooters and one of my favourite browser games to play right now. However, today we're going to be checking out some other browser games that I guarantee you guys will love, and it's going to be a little bit different. Not only do we have first-person shooters, shooters, but we have RPGs. We have got some uh, some little, little gems in there as well, and I guarantee you're going to find at least one game that you'll absolutely enjoy. But before we hop into those browser games, make sure to go and download Brave Browser by clicking my link in the description below. It significantly increases frames per second and decreases lag, and it's my go-to browser to play Crunker.io and other browser games. Now this is not a sponsored video, but if you go and click my link and download Brave Browser and it's really easy to do, it goes and helps out the channel a ton and so everybody that downloads Brave Browser using my link, I very, very much appreciate it. Just one little click link there, go and install it, go and try it out and tell me in the comments section below what you think about it. I guarantee you're going to get better FPS and there's also a, a little bit of a tutorial I've got link in the description below if you want to go and see exactly how how I fine tune it. All right, my friends, let's get straight into it. Checking out the first game, and that is Mini Royale 2, a browser-based first-person shooter that has a battle royale focus, and I'm really excited to hop in and try it out. All right, so as you can see, you get to choose your spawn position. So I'm going to go right here, and I get to go and choose a deployment perk. So I'm going to go with level one armor. And as you guys will see, this game is very much influenced by battle royale games like PUBG and the like. You go and spawn in with a little bit of a parachute right here. You go and fly towards a building, pick up weapons, and try to take out the opposition. Alright, so there's 10 people alive, including me, so 9 enemies I gotta go and take out. You spawn it in with a pistol, I've got myself a nice little uh, assault rifle here. I'm gonna go pick up an MP9 as well, and boys, I am already kitted. Where are the enemies? I gotta go and take them out right here. Alright, so I kinda panic key the key, but that is A-OK, -okay. we're back in it. Like I went and took my kill, how rude. We're gonna go and take him out right here, put a couple bullets into him, boom, he is dead. And that is, uh... The gist of the game, really fast paced, battle royale, where are they? I can hear them behind me. Oh, there we go, taking them out, body shot right there. Alright, so I'm trying to go and find some enemies, but they are being very, very sneaky, going and hiding indoors, so I've got to go and find them out. I do have the sniper rifle though, which is going to go and make this a lot, lot easier as well. Oh, I'm getting shot from the side. Come on, buddy. There we go, mate, don't try to take me out. Oh, there's a guy around here, though. I think there's stim boost as well. I'm gonna go and shoot this guy. Okay, took him out. All right, when it took some damage. Oh my god, there's a guy up here. Oh my god, I did not even realize it. He didn't get the sh last shot off. I went and won the match. All right, that was pretty cool, but it was super, super, super quick. But let's hop into another one. Alright, so hopping into a different match, my friends, this is a different map as well. I'm just going to go and pick up as much uh, as much pistol ammo as possible. This guy's got a sniper, taking a few shots, but we went and took him out. Pick up these bad boys, pick up the adrenaline as well. Alright, sniper rifle equipped, and I didn't actually know you could shoot out these windows. So, I can stay right here and try to take out these guys. Boom, headshot, took him out. Another guy right here. Oh, tanked the shot. Got him on the second. Oh, boys, let's go. The sniper rifle fire rate is actually kind of insane. There's still seven alive, and this guy running across the street. Oh, I got him on the second shot. I am playing on European servers, so it might be a little bit laggy, but that is, that's definitely my fault with my internet connection. And I am just doing work with the sniper rifle right here. Alright, I have to say, I have been camping a little bit. I don't want to go and camp the whole game. So, we'll go and take out this guy. I think there's another person inside here as well. Where are you, buddy? Oh, this is going to be a bit, a uh, bit... Oh, no! Yeah, here we go! We took him out, the little quick scope, and we got first place. Boys, kills after kills. Let's get it. Alright, my friends, let's hop in again, and I have to say, I am quite impressed with this little game right here. Even though it's in the browser, the graphics are quite decent, the gameplay is decent as well, and this battery hour format in the browser works really well, especially if it's really... Oh, okay, I need to go and reload this one. Let's 
One. There we go. One shot to the chest. Easy peasy. Let's swap over this bad boy. Let's get close range. Oh, that did absolutely no damage. This guy right here. One. Two. Three. There we go. We took him out. The long range shotgun played. Eventually worked out for us. But let's go and um, pick up these uh, MP5 and stuff like that. Because I was doing some good work with them. Oh, one guy super close. He went and put a shot into me. Alright, so what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to drop the MP5, drop the 9mm, and swap over to this bad boy. And there we go. That's a decent amount of ammo, I think. I've got to go outside here because that's where the, that's where the nuke is dropped. This guy has a sniper rifle here when it took me out. I had no chance. So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, this game is pretty damn feature-packed. And the fact you get a pistol off spawn is... Pretty cool as well, it means you can get straight into the action and there's no excuses if someone goes and gets a gun before you. I have been taken very, very, very low though, so this is going to be interesting. He's going to come up the stairs right here and I got to go and take him out. I got to go and spray this bad boy down. I've got no... Oh, okay, we got the kill. He just decided not to go and fire back. But this is like the perfect type of format, I would say, for a browser game. Quick fast, simple. You go and hop in, you go and shoot people, you have fun. And I want to go and, uh, okay, I'll take this uh, drone out. If you go and shoot, you get a nice reward. That's a lot of ammo. Not really for the weapon I want though. So what we're going to go and do is walk in here, get the AK-47. Yes, that's what I want. Perfect, perfect. Alright, so this guy is really, really long range. Can I? Oh my god, I can tap these. Oh! <laughs> The headshot from basically across the map. So with 10 players in quite a small map like this, the, the games only last for maybe, maybe, I don't know, like a minute, like two or so minutes if you last to the end. Very, very quick matches. And I'm going to definitely swap over to this gun right here because people were trying to go and take me out with a sniper and I am not having anything with it. All right, where's this last person vote? That's what we need to go and find. I feel like he's out here. Oh, no. There we go. We get him with the, with the body shot. We get another victory. And, boys, that is Mini Royale 2. Go and check it out because I have to say, maybe I can go do a dedicated video. Tell me in the comment section below. All right, guys. The second game we're checking out is called 1v1.lol. It's basically a super streamlined version of Fortnite in the browser. And as you can see, it is very, very quick to go and hop in game. Literally a few seconds and boom, we are already ready to go. Now, from first impressions, uh, it seems very basic. I can, I can definitely tell you that. Okay, this guy is juking me out. Look at these builds. These guys, man, they know how to build, but I know how to go and shoot. And so this guy right here, look at these. Build a little tower. Boom, take him out. That's the thing with Fortnite. People are like, oh, I know how to build, but if you don't know how to shoot, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a problem. All right, we're taking this guy out his builds. I think there's a guy, oh, there's a guy right over here with his black builds. And as you can see, each player, each color signifies what their builds are. So you know exactly who you're going and shooting at. I'm not really sure what this is connected to. Oh, he's going and dropping down. He tries with a shoddy. I go with a shoddy. I win the match, boys. Easy peasy. All right, let's go and hop in again because that is super quick. And I think that's the whole goal. You can do 1v1s. You can just go and practice building. And it's a really good way to go and get your Fortnite building mechanics on point without having to go and hop into a game and take a long time. This one is just literally a few seconds. Yes, I am going and killing the people that don't instantly build. I want to go and get as many kills as possible. All right, this guy's just building randomly. He drops down to this other guy. What a beast. And there's a few things I can go and show you guys. There's actually traps as well. So if I go and take someone's uh, one by one, I can go and take him out. All right, there we go. He's dropped down. This guy's not building for some reason. Let me go and get another victory. All right, I'm realizing that these games are probably like one after another. But let's go and play a little bit more of a full match so you guys can go and get a better feel for it. So as you can see, the players are loading in right now. There's 10 plays from what I can go and see. And once all the players are loaded in, the timer goes and starts. And so I can do, I do my little one by one. I just go and start trying to take people out. And some people obviously not accustomed to playing first person shooters. And that's a little trap right there. This guy is standing still. I'll go and get some free kills right here. You know what? I want to, you know, I want the easy kills. But these guys, look at them building all the way to the top. Can I go and do this, you may ask? Uh, no, I can't. All right, so the guy above me got taken down. It's just me, uh, purple man. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, no. Oh, got the shot off. Okay, and put some walls up. 
There we go, taking him out. The shotgun play coming in well. No! Where'd I get shot from? Oh, come on. But as you see, I really do like games that are really quick to go and pick up. Really quick to pick up and have a quite short game. And, in, in, you know, you don't have to install anything. It's just very much meant to be, you know, you sink maybe one or two minutes into it. Or you could go and sink a little bit more time if you're really quite dedicated. Now, my building, said before, not on point, but my shots are not doing too bad. I'm going to go and knock down this guy's uh, structure. And hopefully it's not connected. Or oh, this guy drops down to the floor. I want to go and, oh, I'm going to one by one him. Oh, where? Bang, bang, trap, trap, trap. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. He's he's trying to get out. He's trying to get out. Oh, the second trap didn't go off. Man, that's a bit sad. But hey, as you can see, there's traps in this game as well. All right, there's a guy right up here. He's got V high ground. But, oh my God, I got a few shots on him. It's down to the 1v1. Oh, there we go. Take him out. Another kill, another victory, boys. Just showing you, you know, building, building skills, who needs them in Fortnite? It's all about that aim, boys. Obviously, the game, you know, it has no recoil, and the death animations, as you can see on that guy, it was basically non-existent. You don't have a death animation, which is a little bit disappointing, but I suppose you want to go and make this game as easy to run as possible. There's no regenerating health as well, so very, uh, very similar to Fortnite in that fashion. All right, I've got to go and do a little bit of builds here. Try to take out this last guy, but in my final, you know, impressions for this game, I've played it a few times before. I have to say, it's pretty damn decent. It's pretty damn decent, and for a free-to-play browser game, even though it's bare bones and the gameplay, it feels like Fortnite. The flashy stuff isn't there, but hey, it's still, I'd say, pretty cool. Alright, so the next one I want to go and show you is called Hordes.io. And basically, this is a fully-fledged... MMORPG in the browser and that is something to go and behold. This is a game that I've been playing, you know, a little bit here and there and it's one of those games where you can just go and hop on, you go and kill some enemies and you have some fun. Basically, there's two factions in this game and with these two factions, you can go and have PvP battles, but my level isn't high enough, so all I'm going and doing for at least a little bit since I've been playing is farming mobs and trying to go and get as many mobs killed as possible so I can get more items and etc, etc. There's also different abilities as you can see down the bottom. You've got mana pots, there's a full, you know, merchant system as well. As you can see, the enemies get bigger and going and taking them out is kind of satisfying, getting a lot of gold as well, going and splitting it with your friends. There's a party system, so if I go and click find party, I'll eventually go and find people that I can go and join up with and have some fun and share some EXP. And this is not like really a competitive game, like 1v1.lol, kind of crazy trying to go and beat people. This one is a little bit more, you know, casual. You're sitting around, just hitting people with your sword and stuff, and there's a few different classes. So I'm the warrior, but there's an archer, there's a mage, so on and so on. So there's a lot of different stuff to go and play around with. All right, my friends, the next game we're playing is called Survive.io, and it's a 2D battle royale game. And I've been playing this for the last, you know, 15 or so minutes, and God damn, this is a weird, weird, weird game. All right, so we just spawned in. There's a ton of weapons. We're going to pick them all up right now. Pick up this bad boy as well. Okay, this MP5. Okay, what I've learned is I am bad with weapons that are not automatics. Automatics are my friends, so... That's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to get all the automatic weapons. I'm going to spray in people's faces and hope for the best. All right. Oh, my God. My aim is actually terrible. I feel like you've got to go and lead your shots. You've got to lead your shots really, really quite significantly. Okay, I got this guy. There's A-OK -okay now. And as you can see, if I can do this, I can uh, use a little bandage quickly, go and get my health back. That guy had a scar as well. Damn. But basically, yeah, it's battery out, but in 2D form. Tons of weapons around for me to go and take out. Need to go and find out where the enemies are, and I need to learn how to lead my shots, because I wasn't doing that before, and I got uh, got absolutely toast. Oh, this guy can see me. He might have a better vest than I do. Not a better vest, a better, uh, like an eight times scope. Okay, there's one guy in here. What is this? This is crazy! He's just camping inside there! Come on, man. Alright, I didn't realize there was an Asia server, so we're gonna try to connect to that, but sometimes my Asia ping is more than my North American ping. It is very, uh, it's very, very weird. Some games, it's better, some games it's worse. But there is a, uh, Thompson right here, a minigun. I'm gonna go and pick this bad boy up, get the ammo as well. And we're just gonna, we're gonna go for those close range kills, because that long range, I can't, I, I, I just don't know. A little bit to it. 
Oh, this guy right here. I'm leaning my shots a little bit. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, where are you, buddy? Oh, he's in here. There we go. He tried. He tried, but uh, he definitely, definitely failed. We took him out. Let's get all this ammo. All right, second person. All right, reload this. There we go. Second kill, and he's got that uh, health pack as well. That's fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, use med pack real quick. Just a little cheeky med pack, all right? We'll get that, the level 2 vest. There's a guy right here. He's probably got a scope. He probably can see me. We're going to duck and weave. We're going to duck and weave. He's running away, trying to keep his distance from me. Maybe I should do the same. Oh, my God. That scope advantage is actually crazy. Like that. What? How can you see me from that distance? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. That's what the eight times, I suppose, is, man. Hey, that's kind of ridiculous. All right. That's enough survive.io for now. But hey, I, I have to say, cool game. Cool game. Not for me personally, but cool game indeed. All right, my friends. So the next game that we're playing right now is called Bullet Force. And this is a mobile first-person shooter ported to the browser, which is... Little bit of a weird concoction, but it actually goes and works out quite well. And as you can see, I'm just demolishing these people right now, taking them out one by one. Got kill streaks as well, if you haven't gone and noticed. But yes, as you can see, it looks like a mobile game in terms of its user interface. And I'm not actually sure how I activate the UAV. It's been such a long time since I played this game because I did a dedicated video on it before. All right, I just spawned right in the f right in front of that guy for some reason or another. There's a few people around here. Gonna go right around their backs, shoot them at the feet, take out one, or the second as well. Come on, where are you, buddy? There you go, taking them out. This is supposed to be team deathmatch. I thought people would be spawning in different bases, but it seems like we're just spawning all together. This is absolutely crazy. And compared to um, wh wh when I actually played it last time, it was not this frantic. All right, so I tried to find the kill streak button, could not get it, and. It feels like this game has gotten worse on the browser since I've last played it, which is a shame because the actual raw mechanics are very, very cool. And I feel like this is probably a game that you would want to go and play on your just on your mobile now. This is definitely better as a mobile game. If you guys want to see how I played it last time, because that was a, like a really, really, really fun experience, then I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But after this life, I reckon... The next thing we should do to go and top off this video is to go and play a little bit of Krunker.io. Because, man, that's the game that started it all for me. Like, of course I played browser games before Krunker, but Krunker was the browser game that I started playing and I absolutely adored. And this one, this, this game is okay, but, man, Krunker is... Krunker is my baby. And we've got that UAV. I don't know how to activate it. And he went and threw... He, man, he threw a nade and took me out. What a beast. All right, my friends, we're on Krunker.io, the game that I absolutely adore and I think is one of the best free-to-play first-person shooters, de one of the best first-person shooters out right now. Yes, it's a browser game, but the mechanics are just so, so good. The slide hopping, the shooting, the everything. And even though the game currently has some problems with lag and hackers and stuff like that, it's still one of the most fun games to play, and it's all packed into a browser. We're on a little bit of a streak here, and of course I get shot down by a sniper. But man, the amount of classes in this game, we're going to have a look here. You've got the Trigger Man, the Sniper, you've got so many classes, custom maps, a great community. And overall, this game just needs a little bit more love to go and take it to wherever it can be, because I think this game has a ton of potential. All right, let's go and finish off this game to finish off this video. 30 seconds. I've got the shotgun, one of the most broken guns in the game. It is capable of obliterating people in one shot if you can go and aim even half decently. And as you can see, that guy, medium range taken out. I spin around. Boom, that guy gets taken out as well. Boom, that guy gets taken out as well. Or oh, this guy. Oh, the pistol, the alien blaster. Alright, one guy is probably behind me, but this guy right in front. Two, two seconds left. One second left. Oh, I can't get the last shot, but we got the victory. And hopefully, guys, enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more browser content, more content on .io games. And of course, download Brave Browser, link in the description below. It helps the channel a ton. Bavronats, undercover dudes, all the way from down under. Out.